the previous video, we made an Arduino circuit to operate an IR based CD fan and decided to move it ahead to a standalone Atmega i6. So, without wasting any time, let's begin. I started with placing the Atmega 328PU IC on the breadboard. This is the pinout of the microcontroller. Now, connect to digital pin 13 of Arduino to pin 19 of microcontroller, digital pin 12 to pin 18 of microcontroller, digital pin 11 to pin 17, pin 10 to pin 1, add a 16 megahertz crystal oscillator between 9 and 10 pin of microcontroller in series, connect power supply to the breadboard, pin 7 of microcontroller to power supply, pin 8 of the microcontroller to ground, add a 10 kilo ohm resistor between 5 volt and reset and the connections are completed. Here is a schematic for better understanding. After that, open Arduino ID, go to Files, Example, Arduino ISP. After that, upload the code as usual. Now your Arduino is ready to work as a programmer. Now go to Tools, Programmer and select Arduino as ISP. Click on Burn Bootloader. To test my microcontroller which is placed on the breadboard, I wrote a simple blink code and uploaded it while holding the shift key. When we hold the shift key and upload, Arduino acts as a serial programmer and programs the IC. Once that is done, I quickly hooked up the positive leg of LED to pin 16 of the microcontroller and connected the negative leg to the ground. Once I was sure that the microcontroller is behaving as expected, began with making the electrical connections to burn the microcontroller with the code to operate the serial fan. Connected the Arduino to the PC and uploaded the code while holding the shift key. After that, I took out my schematic and started making the electrical connections accordingly. During this process, I made a mistake and connected ground to pin 9 where crystal is connected instead of connecting it to pin 8 which is ground. I did not notice this problem in the beginning and wasted my time on such a silly error. So make sure you cross check your electrical connections after every step to avoid any hazard. After adding pull up resistors to pin 12, 13, 14, 15, 17 and 18 which are momentary switches powered up the microcontroller and the circuit is complete. You can find the schematics on my easy EDA profile. Links are down in the description. Here is the circuit finally working after error detection. As I got satisfied with the results, I moved to soldering. I gathered all the necessary components and after 3 hours of soldering project is I think it's completed. I soldered single strands of copper wire to the HD board which are gonna act as momentary switches. I added 25 volt standard microfarad capacitor in parallel to the power supply to smooth out any fluctuations and the remote is complete. Hope you have learned something from this video. I'll soon be back with a new topic. Till then, stay curious, question everything and try to learn something new every day.